Hello and welcome to White Hair Investigations. I'm your host, Anna Rico. Have you ever wanted to go to Mexico and take your horse with you? Well, you can. Today, we're going to show you how. Okay, we're going to start in Tumbleweed. And from Tumbleweed, you want to travel to the Sea of Coronada. Now, there are many different ways to get into Mexico. This is the way that I use it. It's almost guaranteed every time. You're going to want to go down to right here. All right, once you get here, this is the Sea of Coronada. And where we're going is straight across there. The first thing you want to do is, of course, is always make sure your horse is fully fed. Can't be going across on the low bars. Now, I always give my horse a stimulant. You don't have to. All right, then we're going to go right here. And just jump across or swim across actually okay right, now from here once you get across we're going to be going this way we're going to go all the way around to the clearing basically you want to ride around until you can't ride around anymore Alright, we made it to the clearing. Now, of course, you want to get off your horse. And you want to flee your horse. You like to flee. That way it's not showing up on your mini bar anymore. You can see... Our horse is no longer on our bar. And that's what we want. The reason is, is we're going straight across right there. That's still within range of your horse. So if it's on the screen and you haven't made it flee, then it'll try and swim across. And that's not what you want. Alright, we're going to run on around here. Get to this spot. You're looking for that yellow rock right there. Alright. we go first person. And if you don't know how to do what I just did, there's tons of videos on YouTube that explain how to do it. And there we go. So now we're across. If we hadn't have made our horse flee, it would still be showing on the mini-map, which means it was still within whistle range. And it would try to cross the river. So, and you want to run over this way. And now our horse is on the same side as that. And that's how you get your horse into Mexico. Now you have full reign to ride around and check out anything you need to check. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to go to Mexico and take your horse with you. From White Hair Investigations, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.